I've known Louise Redknapp for more than 20 years and in just a moment I'll be finding out all about her new book, You've Got This. First though, here we are, acting our hearts out or something like that on SMTV Live. <laughs> <laughs> We oh couldn't. God. Hello, Butte. I could never keep those teeth in. They'd always <laughs> they'd pop out, they'd hit you left, right, and centre. You were constantly having to avoid those teeth. <laughs> I used to catch those teeth now and again, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you get extra bonus points for catching them. Oh, they were, weren't they fun days? You know what was so funny? I, I, was, I was looking at uh, your Twitter and you posted something, a, a clip. Of us, and I think it was the very, very last cat, the dog, where I, where the the metamorphosis starts happening and the change starts happening. I don't even know what, where did you find that. Where did you get that from? Uh, well, the guy that helps me sort of with social media, he sent it to me and was like, "Do you think we should post this?" I was like, "Absolutely." And do you know? I think that was the the clip that everybody, because you just turn obviously into this beautiful woman that you are or girl um, and I think that was I don't know it was quite emotional that one no I mean I love doing cat the dog we had so much fun <laughs> we did we had the best time ever I think that was one of my one of my best um one of the best moments for me was I remember doing I, I don't know if you remember this one but there was a, a sketch that we did which was hospital radio and Declan and I were sat right next to each other like this and Kathy Burke was on with us as well. And she's just, I mean, she's brilliant. There's nobody better than Kathy Burke. And um, I just remember we were sat really close to each other. And it was the, when we looked at each other, it was the first time ever that we'd properly seen each other in the full regalia, that close <laughs> together. And we corpsed and corpsed and corpsed, like, until I had tears running down my, I mean, it was just brilliant. It was fun days though, right? You know, such fun days. And it was so nice because back then it was all just about having fun. I think Saturday mornings, no matter what age you were, you were still allowed to watch SMTV and enjoy Charms, Cat the Dog. Um, you know, it was, was from kids up. It was brilliant and such good times. I mean, for me, they were such a lighthearted, amazing time. Yeah, totally. And it, I think it's only by looking back in hindsight that you realise how fun it was. You know, you were, you were always quite stressed because it was live and there was a script and there was no auto cue and you were running around and putting on wigs and getting changed. But I feel like everybody, the whole team who worked on that show, we all just got along and mucked in and got along together. Absolutely. It was never any judgment. It was, um, I think sometimes if you mucked up as well, that kind of made the morning because... I don't know, people enjoyed the part that, you know, if your wig was falling off or if I forgot what I was meant to be doing because I'm laughing so much at you. I think they were they were what made the show. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, we've got to talk about your book. This is amazing. Well done, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You, it, was it difficult to be so honest, Lou? Um, yeah, I think anything, especially in today's world, because, you know, things get plucked out of nowhere yes. and taken so out of context in how it sort of gets spilled out. So that was always a concern. But I also knew that there's a lot of people out there that needed, I think, you know, to read honesty from people and to see that everybody's lives are actually in some way or another can be quite similar. Um, and there's also a lot of fun, lovely bits in the book as well. I think, um, you know, it's, I wanted to write a little bit about everything, about starting out in this industry. And I was so lucky to get the opportunities that I did get at a really young age. So I'm hoping there's something in the book for kind of anybody, whether you're a mom that's hoping to get their, you know, kid into stage school or into performing arts right up until, you know, current day. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the the way you touch on the struggle for mums, and it, it doesn't matter whether you're a stay-at-home mum or a mum that goes to work, just to, to try and get the balance right with your kids is so difficult. I mean, I don't know if any, anybody's got the balance right with their kids. I mean, obviously, you've got the boys like I have, and you're, you're constantly learning, you know, me as a mum. I, I think I learn something every day about parenting and about looking after them, um, and it's not always easy. And then other days, it's the best in the world, you know. It's, I think lockdown's been a, a trying time, homeschooling and all of those things have been pretty interesting, especially when you've got teenagers. Um, but, yeah, I, I really wanted to talk about the mum stuff in the book because, um, you know, 
it, it's so many amazing times, but there's struggles also being a mum. And we read about it more and more because, you you know, you suffer with the girl, you suffer with wanting to do your very best for them, questioning yourself. So, um, yeah, but there's also amazing times. And I think letting your kids just be and grow up and, you know, learn their own ways also really important. Well, it's so funny you mentioning the growing up because I can see it come. I, and you're right, I've got two boys exactly like you and I can see it coming. Like when Milo takes my hand and holds my hand, my heart literally wants, just like exp heart explosion. I'm dreading the day when they don't want a kiss or when they don't want me to drop them off at school or when they like shrug my hand away. How do I deal with it, Lou? How do I deal with it? <laughs> Good news is it does happen. Okay, okay good, I've, good. It does happen. The kisses in the car before they get out at the school gate does stop, but it comes back. So my eldest, Charlie, is nearly 17, and um, he's very proud to give his mum a big hug and a cuddle. So the, the young one's getting into the age of 12 that I'm slightly embarrassing in front of his friends, but it goes full circle. So by the time they're the size of, of Charlie, yeah, it's a proper big kiss and a cuddle and a hug in front of their mates and they don't care at all. So it's all good, promise. Oh, gorgeous, <laughs> you give me hope, Lou. And listen, you're a cool mum though anyway. I mean, you, you've got music out, you're like, you're the cool mum, surely. Do you, I'm not the cool mum. Do you know, it's so mad, isn't it? Because to them, I am just mum. You know, we see music videos and TV and out and about, but when I come indoors, it's hair in a ponytail, tracky on, screaming up the stairs, can someone get down and actually eat the food or cook them? Um, you know, all the all the normal things that mum does. So to them, I'm literally just their mum. But uh, yeah, I mean, I do love to, to play them a bit of music now and again. Sometimes it goes down well, sometimes it doesn't go down well at all. <laughs> so there'll be more new music later this year? Yes, I'm currently writing in the studio. Very weird experience over Zoom, um, but loving it. So, yeah, writing new music, most definitely. Um, yes, yeah, so just loving doing the music, as you can imagine. Oh, yes, of course. And you always, that was always your first love. And, of course, we've got the theatre going on and the book. I mean, there's nothing this lady can't do. Lou, so nice to chat to you this morning, my sweet. Love you. And thank you. Oh, so oh, nice to have you well. back. Virtual. See you soon. Bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Louise's book, You've Got This, is out now. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.